this is a bit awkward. I don't know if awkward is the right word, but it's a bit strange uh, that I'm not doing this week in Nerf uh, this week or for I don't know how long, frankly. Um, this video is going to be a bit rambly, probably um, a bit disjointed, potentially, as I have plenty of thoughts, but I don't have a script. I, I just wanted to talk and I may jump from thing to thing. So uh, let's get into it, really. There's a few reasons I'm taking a break from uh, making videos at all, period. And the first one is health, mental and physical health. Um, for about as long as I have been making Nerf videos on YouTube, I have had some kind of health uh, thing going on. So to give you a brief summation, um, I've always had stomach problems since I was younger. Um, they got really bad when I was 17, 18. Uh, we thought it was IBS. It may still be IBS. We don't know. I have to get tests done. But um, things flared up about five-ish years ago and got pretty bad. And then from that, I actually developed uh, rather significant anxiety issues uh, to the point where I wouldn't leave the house for weeks, I think, at, at the worst. Um, the simple act of walking a few blocks down the street was um, strenuous, both mentally and physically. Um, and Nerf was one of the few things that got me out of the house, which was great when I was able to get myself to go. But regardless, uh, things aren't as bad as they were in terms of anxiety, uh, but I still do miss a lot of events. I am in one of the best places in the world to go nerfing and I don't go to the majority of the events um, to give you an idea uh, not for lack of wanting but yeah um, it's a task an overwhelming task at times it can feel like to go somewhere to do something um, that's not really fun <laughs> so I want to get a handle on that because once I can get over that or at least get it under control, I can start to maybe get other things under control. Um, like I went to Endor last year, which was an experience, but very draining experience. I think for a week or two after that, I when I got home, it was just, I was just nothing um, to recover. And I don't want that to be the case. I want it to be the case where I can go to something, not be anxious, not be stressed, not be overwhelmed, or at least not to the point where it's, it's preventing me from enjoying things or doing things. Um, so yeah, that, that's, I suppose, point number one. I, I could go into that far, far more, but I suppose I should talk about what I'm planning to do with this time regarding that. Well, I have several doctors that I'm going to. I've got my general practitioner. Um, I have an ears, nose, and throat because I've had a cough and sinus issues and all kinds of stuff in this area going on um, that I have appointments with to follow up once insurance clears it. Um, I have to get x-rays done from back. I tried to do that today, actually. But the place I went to didn't have the right machine, so I've got to go somewhere else. And uh, Regardless, well, there, there's that. On the physical end, I'm waiting still uh, to hear back from the um, insurance company about a behavioral therapist for my anxiety. Um, it's been about two months, so I need to call and follow up. They said it could take a while because they wanted to put me with a specialist, not just a regular uh behavioral therapist, someone that I could meet with weekly because they said it seemed like it was severely impacting my life. And I felt, yeah, that's, that's a reasonable thing to say considering I uh, am unable to hold down a regular job. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's severely impacting. Um, what else? I've got an appointment in a couple weeks with a gastrointestinal doctor, which will, I think, uh, probably do a... Uh, colonoscopy to see what all is going on in my stomach and hopefully 
uh, fix things. Hopefully it's nothing too terribly bad. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that my body isn't in as bad of shape as I sometimes worry it is and that a lot of it is on the mental side that's making those things worse. But that, I mean, fingers crossed because again, if I can take care of the mental things, hopefully the physical things can fall into place and I can get back to where I want to be and just, just be awesome. I really, it's, I like to live my life. It'd be a good thing. Um, so that's, I guess, a, a brief overview, a very, very brief overview of kind of where I'm at in terms of mental and physical uh, wellness. Um, not great. Yeah, I mean, I can go out for a day, I go to a Nerf game, and then for a couple days after that, I am um, kind of out of it. So uh, there's a lot to improve upon there. Um, yeah, I don't want to take up all your time on that one topic, because I could talk for a long time, if you all really want to know, but I don't think you really do. Uh, so there's there's things going on there, and I'm, I'm hoping that I can get that all addressed in the next few months. That, that's pretty wishful thinking, to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, I, I haven't been able to hold down a regular job, um, and I... I would like to make money and, you know, start saving money and have an income and, uh, you know, be an adult would be nice at times. Um, I have been over the course of 2018, I put in varying amounts of time into the channel. Um, I started, I think like one or two videos a week, then was consistently two videos a week, then three videos a week. And uh, I think a number of times did more than that. Uh, but regardless, I was putting in significant hours into the channel and not that I didn't enjoy it and, and I don't love Nerf. I mean, uh, but it just, I made in total, including YouTube revenue and uh, Patreon support, probably less than or equal to a minimum wage workers monthly check. It's not a lot for an entire year. Uh, so I need to step back and reevaluate a lot of things. And it's not that I want to stop making videos and never make a video again, but I need to find something that I can do uh, to earn a real living. Um, not that I was pushing as hard as I could to only earn money on YouTube and, and things like that. It's just kind of something that fell into place happening because I wasn't working a regular job and thought, well, I'll do this while I'm getting better. And I ended up not focusing on getting better, but instead focusing on, you know, having fun making YouTube videos. So I got to put things back into the proper perspective. I'm hoping I'm going to be trying to do some stuff with photography over the next few months. Kind of that was my one of my first uh, passions coming out of high school. It was my original uh, major in college before I switched to film, not a major switch, you know, different medium, kind of similar things. But regardless, I uh, want to get back into that and see what I can do in terms of making money that way. I've got several ideas uh, that I'm kicking around. I need to just get back into uh, photo taking shape, I guess, kind of re-acclimate myself to the, the intricacies and, and making sure I'm taking quality images before putting myself out on the market and finding ways to earn money. So uh, that's one of the things I'll be doing along with looking at other sources of income that I can find um, while getting better. So there's a lot on that end. Um, and it's just this, man, <sighs> making this video sucks, like to be completely honest. Um, because just today I went to the post office, uh, just, you know, checked the PO box and there was a shirt from Broke Nerfing that I, I have not tried on yet, but thank you. And a package from Flagonio with the Rectify. It's the Jang's Fabufy and I love it. I like, <sighs> there's so many things that I have been blessed with by the people of this community uh, that I get to uh, play with or review or experience uh, for reasons I don't understand, but am so thankful for. And there's so many things that I 
haven't even gotten to do videos on or talk about or touch on even. This, I've had this sitting here from Mitch uh, uh, Essinger, Essinger. And this is a, a storm bolter, a bolter kit for a Strife that I like, I cannot wait. This even has like litanies and stuff. Like, this is awesome. This is like one of the coolest things someone has sent me and I haven't had a chance to put it on anything. And I feel terrible about that. This is one of many things like this. I, uh, I found that I now in my current state get so overwhelmed so very easily. It's terrible. I don't like it. Um, just the simplest things can, and can become incredibly draining and taxing. Uh, even though I know they're not necessarily difficult or, um, hard or, you know, all that intense. Uh, like I said, the, the simple act of leaving the house at times, um, can be an issue if I'm not feeling well. I have to plan hours in ahead usually. I don't just get up and go somewhere usually. Though I have gotten better uh, somewhat the last few months uh, in that regard, but it's just kind of, it's one of those sticking points for me. Like I, I you know, it, all of this leads to uh, incredibly low self uh, worth, self confidence, um, things that really detract and make it hard to find the success that you want in anything. So I need to focus on me and my future and evaluating what is the right thing for all of that. Um, now I'm not planning on stopping nerfing. I, I mean, I just, today I popped open the Omega kit that arrived and put it in a long shot and messed around with that. And I'm excited to go use it somewhere. So like, I, I it's not that I've lost, you know, passion uh, for nerfing, I'm excited to get out on the field again at some point. So it's, it's not that it's just priorities and setting things where they need to be. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take, to be honest. It's important, but like I said, I'm bummed that I feel as though I am, uh, letting the community down by not continuing the series that I, uh, have started and just all of those that send me amazing things like I was just talking about that I, I just blow my mind every single time um, you know it's just I feel like I am not producing the quality of content uh, that I would like and there are so many things that I want to improve on for videos and for myself and I don't know where we're going to end up after this break and I need to be very honest and upfront about that. Um, it's possible that I will find something for a source of revenue that will be awesome and still allow me to make videos as much as I want. It's possible that I'll, you know, have to focus on health for a while and, and that, and I, I won't be doing videos or I will only do videos when it's something I can do for fun and enjoyment and not on a regular schedule. So I, I, you know, it all depends on what happens and how things go and where the priorities land and uh, what the evaluation, the reevaluation of my life, I suppose, and my future uh, winds up. And that's, that's the way it is right now, which doesn't, probably doesn't sound too great to all of you, but I think is a necessary thing for me. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot that I have not touched on, that I wanted to touch on, that I was thinking about it. And I'll probably remember after I finish filming. Uh, but a real quick thing to remind everyone, if you are supporting on Patreon, don't worry, you're not being charged while I'm on break. I have set things to pause. I will continue to reset the pause every single month to make sure that no one is charged for anything until I come back. If you choose, you just don't feel like having that hang in there. 100% okay with you uh, 
removing your pledge. I understand. I don't blame you. I'm totally okay with it. Thank you for any of you that have supported in any way on this channel. Uh, I, seriously, like, the idea of being able to do this full-time and make a, a, a livable wage where I could, you know, put money away and save for the future and, and you know, look towards important things that'd be amazing but that's not a reality right now and it's not a reality for a long time at the uh the rate things are going youtube has made it harder and harder and we are in a very very small very very small niche so uh it's it's not something i can reliably bank on or think about or consider a a realistic goal if it happens by some crazy magical thing that's fantastic, but it's not something I could I could realistically uh, depend on or rely on. That being said, and, and again, everything that went into Patreon, I mean, it, it was st stuff that went into buying equipment for the channel or buying blasters to use or your trip to end war, things like that. Things that went back into the hobby, not like a regular income that would pay for bills and, and things like that. And I... This is uh, becoming tangential and uh, maybe more detailed than you wanted and, and whatnot, but just kind of giving you the, the behind the scenes. The big thing is health. I, I, that's, I want to be healthy mentally and physically. Um, so fingers crossed that'll happen and I will be in fantastic shape at some point in the near future here, hopefully. And I will be able to go hard on the field 100% and uh, have a ton of fun with all of you. Because I want to nerf all over the world. I really do. I think that was an awesome thing to, to try and make happen. But I need to get well enough to actually travel and not have multiple panic attacks in doing so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like there's... Um, I'm always going to feel like there's more to say. So I should probably end it here because this is probably absurdly long already. And if you made it this far, I'm impressed because this is very rambly, like I said at the beginning of the video. Uh, but I appreciate you sitting through it. And I hope you were able to glean some insight in some small way. Hopefully uh, a way that is at least not terrible. You know, like I said, I feel bad about this, but... Um, this break, two months, is exceptionally optimistic. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I can almost guarantee it's going to be longer than two months. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Yeah. On that note, of a bummer of a note, I think, I think let's call it here. I should end on, on some realism that, uh... I'll still be around the community. I'm still going through the habits of, of researching everything I see pop up, which I need to break and focus on other things because it, it becomes very time consuming to, to follow every Facebook thread, every Reddit post, uh, scrolling through Instagram, watching every video. Uh, that becomes very time consuming. So gradually, but I will still be here. I will still be nerfing ideally and I'll hopefully see people out on the field around this area and uh, still be poking in places here and there. So thank you all, hopefully, for your understanding. Your support in the comments of the last couple videos has been mind-blowing. Uh, I'm sorry for not responding. It's just things uh, can feel overwhelming at times, and uh, hopefully that won't be the case for too much longer, and I can get things on the right track and be healthy, I have no many times. I have no idea how many times I've said that this video. I keep trying to think of other things I want to say, but it's just not happening. And I feel like I'm not saying thank you enough and sorry enough. And I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be back and be doing some fun stuff for all of you in the future. With that said, thank you all so much. So very much. Um, I think that's it.